Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. This is the Wix online meeting 228, 27th January, basically end of January. It's happy to have you here. I've got a little bit of new technology running. Uh, so if there are any blips or beeps and wrong things going on, well, it's probably delivered to that. Um, these meetings are recorded for those of you that aren't with us right here, right now. And if you are with us here right now, go ahead and say hi, because we'd love to uh, see you. We had a bunch of people join us last week, and maybe we'll get um, some of that. Sean pointed out that I forgot to send out the email announcement, um, which means that, well, there are probably a lot of people thinking, oh, well, maybe we're not having a meeting this week. But we are. Uh, it might be a short meeting. I'm saying might because I don't want to jinx it, because every time I say that, it ends up not being a short meeting. Um, anyway, we're going to do triage, and then we'll take your questions and comments and anything else that you guys want to say. So if you're here, go ahead and say hi. And just drop a thing in a message saying, well, I am here, or something else uh, similarly acute and appropriate. And uh, we'll go jump into triage. Bob, you ready? I am. All righty then. So, four issues. I said I would be ready for this, and I'm Did not quite ready. Well, no, I'm, 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 I'm into bits and pieces of it. I just haven't decided. I'm still waffling on this first issue. So, I'm, I'm making progress on it. I just, I don't have a... A recommendation yet so i will be back next week with this i'm just haven't quite decided closer though all right so i want to i do want to come back to it so i think we should skip over to 6705 um sean next to mine. this is yours yeah what do you want to say uh what are we looking at this is all do you or is it just uh this happens should we do it? Well, I mean, it's broken. So, like, if you remember, Heath made the change in 4 to default the major upgrade element to change the upgrade rows to be language-specific. Oh. And as far as I can tell, Burn is not properly detecting MSIs from language-specific upgrade rows. Interesting. Do you recall if... if it tries to? It tries to, but the code is broken. So okay, either okay. either the core tool set is writing the wrong thing into the manifest or the burn code is incorrectly applying those conditions. Right. Sorry, I was trying to determine, pivot between is it a bug in the implementation or did we just not do it at all? So it's trying, but it's incorrectly saying that they're not equal. So it's, it's not detecting the related package. Right. Okay. It's getting the information from the MSI APIs, but then it's going through its algorithm of deciding whether it's actually related or not. And it's right. saying it doesn't match the upgrade row. So, yeah, it's broken. Yeah. And I don't know where. <laughs> I don't know which side is wrong. It, or both sides might be wrong. Right. So given the change in four, we probably have to take this. Given the change in the core tool set in the compiler in four, we probably have to take this in burn in four. Well, I have a feeling that this is broken in three as well. If right. you had authored a language-specific upgrade row in right. MSI. But it's going to be more apparent now in four, presumably. Right. Everyone using the major upgrade element. So does that mean we have to take this in four? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Is anybody volunteering? Oh, no. Everyone's audio just cut out. Oh, really? I no. Hope not. no. <laughs> that was the lack oh. of people volunteering. See, I'm all jumpy. I got worried about the technology Sorry, yeah. here that I've got. <laughs> <laughs> got all this flying in beta, man. You know, bailing twine and bubblegum. All right. Well, I can see. Bob has put I'll it into it. the appropriate. Okay. I'll take it for now. 
for now. Hmm, that's encouraging. <laughs> well, uh, you know, yep. We, we will have to look at the, uh, look at the, you know, bug lists so, at some point. Yes. Don't worry. I'm still way ahead of you and work to be done, but yeah, I am slowly whittling it down. All right. Someone decided not to use our template and provide their own. Um, this is the remote package stuff, right? Yeah, this this yeah. this is a misunderstanding. Yeah, this this is a support request, right? Um, yeah, it's. Uh, I think there's an assumption here that if you have the files, they're going to magically be imported. So, I don't think that's correct. Oh, well, sorry. I know that's not correct. Right. So this is a support request that we can send it off in that direction. Yeah. Well, I, there, I there, think they're another... asking for they're asking for another package definition where it's compressed. Yeah, but we can't put that in the library, so we yeah, could we're not do that. it'd be a very big library. <laughs> Plus it well, changes. So And we'd have to carry every redistributable for .NET? Yeah, right. Very, very big library. Sorry. I, I, I'm going to go ahead and go out on the limb and say we're not going to do that. Yeah. All right. Cool. That makes that one much easier. Yeah. Uh, there is a, there, there's a bug. You can do this, right? You need a payload group to Sorry. pull it in. And I know that somewhere there is a bug that the documentation is incorrect or it no longer works or something. I don't, I'll, I'll find it. Okay. All right. Log on as a service privilege is removed after major upgrade. These user privileges things, major upgrade. Oh, these are all the, uh, uh, commit. CAs, right? Is this commit? Is it a user? I thought user was a commit CA. User is a commit CA. Maybe this this is just privileges on top. Oh no, but it's in the user CA. All right, my bad. So Sean, do you really think this is five seven five eight again? Uh, yeah. With the way he authored it, I think it is. So the user's being I mean, removed and then added it? Uh, well, he's, he's not asking for the user to be created. Right. Well, he's also not asking it for it to be removed on uninstall. So it's supposed to add it during install and then not remove it during uninstall. So maybe it's not a duplicate because it probably shouldn't be removing it in yeah. the first place. So I think there might be. Yeah, yeah, but I think that's really vague. Remove on uninstall applies to the creation of the user. I, I suspect we don't have a separate bit that says don't remove these services on un remove on uninstall or user tweaks. I, yeah, or. I think this issue here, if we dig down into it, the 5758, uh, the 5758, it's, it's been a bit, but I, I remember, and maybe Bob, you remember better than I do, the, there's an issue, I think, where the component is being, uh, the component state is changing. Uh, let's see, how does this work? The component state is changing even though, the, so the component is shared across two products, like in a major upgrade, and the component is still marked to be uninstalled from the old product because right. Right. it's um, it's removing its product registration for that component. Right. And so the, ref, it, the custom actions like, I've installed, all right, that component was already in. During the install, the component gets another ref count on it, during the upgrade uninstall, the ref count 
goes back to one, but the Windows installer still has that component marked for to say, oh, right. uninstall this component because it's being removed from this product. And that's yeah. a, there's a, there's no way to distinguish the the state of of you know just decrementing the ref count. Right. That was the thing that was missing. And I, I think this is an architectural problem inside the Windows installer that we might have to at, when we want to tackle 5758, we want we all have to go in and find a fundamental solution to that problem. Like if we can, during a custom action, enumerating and finding out if there are right. any other components, if this component belongs to any other products to really know if it's being removed. Yep, yep, I agree. I've had to do that in the past. It's not fun, but... Yeah, so my, my bet is that, Sean, you're right. These This issue is the same. Uh, this this um... right. I think it's actually not the same like Bob was saying that it, it's not respecting the remove on uninstall for these special permissions oh well that's so possible so too. either either we need to change it to where that remove on uninstall also applies to those special permissions yep or we need or, to add another flag or rename it remove user on uninstall so that it's at least clear. And then we decide if we want to deal with the permissions bit. I think part of the problem is, uh, Rob, like you said, the, the user CA is the user CA. So the user CA is commit because we can't roll back yeah. the deletion of a user, um, whereas we could roll back the tweaking of, of these permissions. All right, so it's, it's one of those two things um, so if it is the issue that you, the second issue that, or the second path you brought up, Sean, then we should keep this open as something of, yeah, we need a design for how we want to, um, handle the case for attributes being added to the user. Yeah. I mean, I think I would prefer to lump them in together where that flag applies to both. I, well, I would too because it's simpler and probably more like what's intended. Because if you're removing the user on uninstall, you don't care about the permissions. Yeah, that That's certainly true. The, the, the other case is um, if you are adding permissions to a user that you don't own, then you want to uninstall. You want to take your permissions with you, but not the user, which is probably not this case because this guy's saying remove on uninstall equals no. He wants the user to stay. They probably own it. So update if exists equals yes and don't get rid of it. And they probably don't want their permissions being removed. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'm I'm not against the design. It's like honestly, you guys vote that way. I'd be fine if it behaved that way too. Just yep. The attributes travel with the user state. But we don't want the that or they need to come off the user and be put as user, whatever these are called, properties, attributes, whatever you call them. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I, I worry like remove on uninstall equals yes means delete the user. Correct. We don't want that. Right. So we probably do need to support both the removal of the user and the removal of the permissions, privileges, whatever these are called. Privileges, that's probably what they are. Um, probably. All right, anyway, I, I, I could see this being sliced several different ways. It sounds like a great thing if someone wants to sit down and design it. Let's add a whip to this, the whip required to this, yeah. just so that we remember that, you know, there's a couple different ways this could be designed and it should do that. If, if yeah. someone wants to solve it, they should think through all of those problems in a web or solutions, not problems, solutions. Uh, I'm going to say this is not four zero. Oh, I mean, no, not four zero. I mean, this is a breaking change. Yeah. Can it not be done additively? Well, today all the permissions are authored in that user. Yeah. So if you start changing names of things, that would definitely well, be uh, absolutely. I was thinking you might be able to add an attribute to 
you know, remove attributes on uninstall yes and remove on uninstall no or something. But it would not be clean. It would definitely be cleaner to redesign it from scratch. But yeah. This might be one of the, uh, like, if, if we move these out of the, I, I suspect we have to move them out of the user CA. Oh, really? Okay. The, the, I, I, well, this might get, again, you know, commit CA is required for creating a user, but not for anything else. So I think for a full solution, we'd have to move it out of the user CA. Um, okay. I mean, which could end up with, with you know, having uh, kind of like the uh, Perfmon stuff where we end up with, you know, parallel solutions. Yeah, there's, yeah, I, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, That's what the web, it, it, what it the needs a design. It needs a design. Yeah. There's a lot of different attributes to this, but yeah. And I'm definitely not in the headspace to go, yeah, let's go do all these different ways. of It's like, no. Um, all right. New feature request, essentially. Yeah. I think that's it. Nothing else? Yeah, all right. So I guess that means questions, comments, other things people want to talk about. I don't actually have any topics um, right now. We Can we talk about labels a little bit? Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, we so can... I, I'd like to use the bundle label instead of burn label for bundles. Like I'd like to just reserve the burn label for stuff that's in the engine. All right. So what do you want in the bundle layer or in the bundle label then? So for issues where today, if the issue has anything to do with the bundle, it gets labeled as burn. Okay. So instead of burn, I'd rather it just be bundle. So that if I want to search for issues that affect the engine, I can just search for burn. What's an example of an issue? Not in a specific example, but what's like a generic example of something that's tagged burn that you would rather see tagged as bundle? Like, I, any, I, any of the ones that assign to you right. <laughs> that has burn? So those I almost would rather, well, so, yeah. So then that's a... I have a similar issue on all these things we have now with compiler and linker. And then we have, we used to have candle and light. Like we have a lot of duplication across all those. And I keep looking at it going, should we really differentiate between compiler and linker? Cause it's all one thing in Wix four, or is there still value in defining the difference between the compiler and the linker? And honestly, there's hardly ever any issues in the linker. They're almost always actually in a specific binder, a backend, which then you're into the MSI versus uh, the Windows installer versus the burn backend. So I kind of went going, is there value in breaking them down to this level or not? Um, and that's a question, not an answer. Um, like should we continue to break things down to this degree or should we just create splits that are like, you know, this is the compiler, AKA everything that's all done in the build space. I don't want to call it build because then it gets confused with the build process. I mean, they're, they're words. Um, I, I don't know what to do there. I, I would, I would love input that helped clarify it. Cause I don't know what to do with them. We, we definitely need to do something. Um, we need to probably do what other projects have done, which is to, you know, introduce some hierarchy in the labels. So like, you know, if we wanted to separate out the, the build of burn bundles, <laughs> the build of bundles from the burn engine, you know, we could, we could do something there like, you know, burn dot engine, or we have, we have one, there's like burn acquisition. Yeah, that was really weird too. Yeah, it's really weird. The, the one, the one label that we created to you know separate that out. Um, so hierarchy would probably help. Um, yeah, uh, that's that's. There's good. also the question, you know, truthfully, it's like we 
I don't, I don't think we contributors to Wix use the labels much. I mean, do we would we get value out of separating out, um, you know, the <laughs> in Wix three? It made sense to separate out the compiler and linker. Um, unfortunately, that means we have compiler, linker, candle, and light tags. Right. Because we were trying to separate, get away from the names. Um, and so that made sense. It also, I think, makes sense you know, for us to figure out what to call it and then have one thing that refers to you know, the core build tool set. I mean, I, I do search for burn to see burn issues. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I, I'm... I'm uh, there are, I was suggesting we don't need, we don't need to break them down um, much. You know, it's like, so we have core tool set, we have burn, um, we have extensions. Uh, yeah, we don't even break down the extensions. And, but, and there's an example of one where maybe we'd get a lot more value if we did. We probably should. I mean, yeah. Because yeah, again, it. if if you're going to browse for them, yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, I, I hear you, Sean. I have the same problems, and I've kind of just letting it sit in the background, waiting for the day that we sit and say, you know, the best thing for us to do is to go and clean out all of our issues, and honestly, at the same time, uh, solve our uh, our respawn issues or however we're going to suspend things and get all right. that like really cleaned up and locked in and just solve all well, of I mean, those things at this point i don't know if that's ever going to happen because we keep on talking about it and it never happens oh well yeah. because we're well because we've been one we did the massive triage of issues from before to now and then we've mostly just been trying to finish Wix 4. I think when we finish Wix 4 we're going to need to go back and decide what we're going to do uh, with a lot of issues. For example all the 3x issues and then the 4 and I'm hoping at that point we're going to and I'm certain at that point we're going to have a huge list of 3x issues that are like hmm we need to decide and I expect the respawn is going to turn into a ginormous block of that. It's like hey all these 3x issues they're reasonable things to fix, but we're not going to fix them. They all go in that bucket. And so at that point, we will have to solidify it. And hopefully then I would toss in, let's go ahead and try to clean up our labels at the same time. One of the ones, the other one I'm sitting here going is like, do we really need bug uh, versus, and, and feature? I'm like, sometimes it's nice to know something's an enhancement or a feature. I think we have both of those as well. Um, but then maybe we don't need bug, at, you, know, right. you know, whatever. I, I don't know. Um, if it's not if it's not an enhancement, it's a bug by default. Right. So we don't need a little red tag floating around on right. eighty percent of our issues or whatever yeah. it is because we've not been adding it lately. Anyway, so it's like nope. yes, yes, and not I, intentionally to be clear. Yes, I, I think there's definitely a value in going through and doing all that. I just don't think the value is before uh, Wix four right now. Well, well, I think you went a lot wider than I wanted, and I just want to stop <laughs> labeling issues with burn. <laughs> Unless it's truly in the engine. That's fine. You can do that. I don't label anything as <laughs> any of those things. Because um, I haven't decided what to do with any of the issues. So I'm like, uh, I've been getting rid of a bunch of things um, from like candle light. I tend to then put it all on compiler right now, I think. But I don't put anything in burn. So yeah, we cannot um, put them in burn and go from there. Or but the engine still, in burn. But like this thing but, then shouldn't be in burn. Or sorry, you guys can't see that. I'm pointing at the screen over here. Like this first issue, 6447, wouldn't be a burn because it's not going to be a burn change. Well, right. At least anymore. It, it was. <laughs> yeah, it started as a right. burn issue. Yeah, I, I did the engine part. Right. It's now it's... So I guess we leave that on there and we move on to it is now in the compiler part. But that's where I would go hierarchical would be my approach. So that would, say, get tagged with burn.engine and burn.build. <laughs> To come up with some random names, and then <laughs> yeah, if, if there are issues that well, I, so see, I don't this issue is where we where we move them, right? It went it went first to Sean. He did the engine stuff. If we had two labels on it, then we could you know you could remove the burn dot engine label when you assigned it to Rob for the burn dot build work. 
or leave but the bolt on there because it was fixed. Like the issue, the original issue was both. Why would we remove labels when we finish something? That doesn't make sense. Well, we could if if the goal is for you to be able to browse for burned out engine bugs. Well, it is a burn engine bug. Yeah, you you want to be able to find done. it later. You just want to be able to find it later. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, either one is fine. It, it's, I, I was responding to Sean saying I want to be able to browse. Yeah. If you're fine browsing and going, oh, yeah, I don't care about that one. It's on Rob. Then yeah, we should keep the label. Well, I mean, it is assigned to me, so I could filter it out. <laughs> also true. So... So yeah, that, that's fine. I, I, we will not add other things to the burn label unless it's in the burn engine. I think that's fine, certainly going forward. I don't have a good answer for what to do with the compiler versus linker versus binder backend things yet. I, I, I don't know if I've been... I just Probably just core anything. tool set. Yeah. Well, coming up with the names is the fun part, but I think it would be... So we have 68 labels, which is so close. <laughs> um, but I think it would be, I, this is, I think this is the kind of thing we could, you know, on a short, like today, right? If, if we finish triage in less than half an hour, we could spend half an hour going through the, um, going through the label, just going through, you know, a dozen labels and going, yeah, do we need the bug label? No. Well, look, there's the delete button. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I don't really want to do that. Oh, now. and look, there's a button that would let you convert 310 bug issues to discussions. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. If <laughs> only that was the way that worked. That. Right. Um, but yeah, we we have a bunch, and and we do need to figure out you know, how we want to use labels for more than just areas. But I think starting with areas would be, you know, would be fine. Sure. But for now, the burn label, we will continue. We will focus on using it for only the engine. Cool. Sure. All right. We have rambled on significantly. Should have given Ron. Hey, Ron, glad you found the chat box. Uh, yeah, I haven't been on enough YouTube lives to know where they hide it when you're full screen. I guess it's, well, yeah, it's not on the screen if you go full screen. Yeah, that makes sense. Anyway, uh, we'll give you guys hopefully plenty of time if you had anything else you guys wanted to ask in this meeting. There's that. I think we will be back. We should be back in two weeks. I think that's, yeah, normal uh, February 10th. Yeah, February 10th, if my math is correct, is crossing a month border, so that's always dangerous, but I think I got that right. Um, I will send out an email before that. I did not get that in this process correct, but I will get the email out um, and get all the discussion things set up. I have, now that we have YouTube and can pre-schedule the meetings right away, that's pretty nice, but still need to work on when the reminders get set out, and I'm still working on that to nail down when is the appropriate time to uh, remind people that there is a meeting via our mailing list and the Twitter and things like that and the discussion. So uh, on that note, I think we're good. Two weeks, we'll come back. We'll do triage again, see what else there is to talk about. Uh, it's nice keeping the issues uh, small as we continue to whittle down the Wix 4 issues. I don't think it'll happen in February, but after that, maybe we'll be able to have a little bit and go through the issues that are open in Wix 4. I don't know. It, I, pretty much everything I see assigned to me, I have to fix. So there's not a lot of value in looking at the bugs. I'm just working on them. So I don't know if you guys feel the same. Bob, I think we'll probably have to review your issues you said at some point. But right now, uh, we're just fixing, or just fixing Wix 4 issues. So on that note, two weeks from now, same place uh, here on YouTube. Things are working out, I hope. You guys can hear us. And uh, we will uh, do it all again. So until then, you guys take it easy. Bye. Bye. Bye.